Okay, y'all, today we're gonna make some fried okra. Okay, so let's get started. You're gonna need 12 ounces of okra, a fourth a cup of cornmeal, flour, buttermilk, all a fourth a cup, and you're going to need a teaspoon of salt and of course, oil. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and place our dry ingredients into this bowl right here. So, all right, there was our cornmeal, our flour, and of course, uh, the salt. Now, you may need more salt than that. I would suggest starting with a teaspoon and just, you know, you can also sprinkle some when the okra is done. Don't, I wouldn't go over more than like a teaspoon and a half because you don't want them just like super salty. You want the natural flavor of the okra. Okay, so we get that stirred together, set that to the side. We're gonna pour our buttermilk over our okra so we can get a nice good coating on our okra. And then you just want to stir this together to make sure that all of the okra is well coated in the buttermilk, all right? Just like this. All right, and then after you've done that, you wanna get a strainer spoon, and then you wanna go ahead and place your okra into your dry mix. Now, you just, you know, you, you just wanna kinda be um, patient with this, add a little bit of okra at a time, so you can make sure that you're getting it well coated and you're not just dumping it in there and getting your, your um, dry mixture all wet which will um, cause clumping. You need it to stay as dry as possible while you're um, you're getting your okra pieces together, all right? So then you just take another strainer spoon and you wanna uh, you know shake off the excess uh, dry mixture and go ahead and place your okra on a plate and then you just wanna complete that in like two or three batches, something like that, you know? Just don't place them like too super close together, but they don't have to be so far apart. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so we have our oil in our pan ready to go. Just, you know, a couple of inches of oil. Now I'm gonna show you all two different methods of frying this okra. So right here, my oil was a little hot and I was a little impatient. Um, and I was just kind of like, you know, putting the okra in there a little bit at a time, but, you know, not being as patient. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So what I ended up doing is breaking the okra apart as it was cooking. The okra takes, you know, three or four minutes to cook. You know, depends on how hard you want it fried and how brown you want it. And so as it was cooking, you see I'm, I'm separating it and it's popping everywhere. But you know what? This is my preferred method of cooking it. I'll show you all the other way in just a minute. But I really like this better, even though I kind of had to handle it because to me it came out crispier and I didn't have a problem separating it while it was cooking. You know, I have to watch it anyway. Okay, so of course when the okra is brown, you wanna go ahead and remove it from your um, skillet and you wanna transfer it to a paper towel covered dish. Y'all see there's a neat like a ton of, of oil because you know, the okra floats to the top and okra is, you know, it's not that big. Okay, so we're gonna set that to the side, and this is round two. So the oil has cooled off at this point, and we're putting the okra in here. I'm just doing like scoops, but the, the oil is not as hot, so it's not gathering the okra as fast, right? Okay, so just a couple of scoops at a time. Now with this method, the okra took longer to cook. To me, it wasn't as crispy, but I didn't have to deal with it. You see, it's not clumping together like it did um, with the last method. So pick your method. You know, either way it goes, the okra was good. This way, it just took a little bit more time um, to cook, but it was just as good. Just like I said, to me, not as crispy because it didn't fry as quickly. So just keep that in mind. The oil wasn't as hot either. Okay, so of course I have to do still do a little bit of breaking apart because that's just the way it is. When you um, put this in here, it's gonna gather together. So just keep breaking it apart, moving it around until what? It's nice and brown. And once again, we're ready to go ahead and remove it from the skillet. Now we placed it in uh, on a paper towel covered cookie sheet in this case. But y'all, once you get your okra onto your paper towel covered cookie sheet, Go ahead and taste it because if you're going to add more seasoning, you want to go ahead and add it while it's hot. I suggest adding salt. I like the real natural flavor of okra, but you can add, you know, I don't know, seasoned salt, just whatever your favorite seasoning is to this okra. To me, okra, you know, doesn't have to be dressed up. Just put a little salt on it and go. But y'all, that's it. Southern fried okra. That is so simple to make, and we use frozen okra. All we did was thaw it out completely, and then do what I showed you right here. So, y'all, 
I hope you enjoyed this recipe as usual. Please like this video, share it, subscribe to our channel, and we'll definitely catch you next time. Y'all take care.